All right, this is a uh, first video on the channel, Archbishop Havel. I'll have to probably change it at some point later. A uh, few other people haven't, but they're also a lot better at this and not quite so amateurish as I am. Uh, this will be the Gloomwood, the uh, the Blood Moon playthrough. Uh, the new difficulty they added, I guess, new air quotes, it's not actually very new. Seems very uh, challenging, though, and interesting, especially with the Resident Evil-esque resources to save mechanics. So let's just uh, hop right into it, because I'm not terribly good with introductions. And of course, Gloomwood needs no introduction of its own anyways. I feel like it speaks for itself. And if you found this video, uh, you probably know what you're looking for, or at least that strikes me as the most likely explanation. Smell that, smell that ambience, the fish. It's funny they want to take us to the city. I'm already planning on going there. Uh, a visitor? You know, I might change up the... I've had it mostly cranked down, but maybe I'll boost the audio just, just a hair. Because I always thought the game was a little on the loud side. He's not the only one. Good luck, Doctor. There is more to this city than you can possibly imagine. Oh. Damn, the Blood Moon range has increased the point where he fucking heard me up there. But yes, if it hadn't become a little obvious. I was one of the people who really jumped on Gloomwood when it first got its full release, that is. So I've kind of got the song and dance for this whole first area down. The main thing is the fact that Blood Moon is quite a bit tougher than the previous difficulties. Thank you for the advice, Gianni Matragrano, a popular audio or VA worker on YouTube. I appreciate the input. have much use of the map flow on account of the whole um, already been through here about half a dozen times this will be very useful you know I might actually end up adjusting the audio a little more or perhaps I should just speak louder Uh, 
Yeah, we're not actually going up that way, though. This is something I didn't realize till just sort of tearing apart this place on subsequent playthroughs. But this door is unlocked. And we can just go up this way. We don't actually have to take that elevator, which has a uh, more scripted path for us to use in order to get around. Also, usually a guy on patrol through that area, and one above us. So let's see if we can do some sh sh movement. My general plan, I think, is we get up to the roof, we move around, see what we can clean out there. I think my... The Undertaker should probably be our first goal. I remember the code, so we should be able to just get into the water, get to the safe, grab the Undertaker for utility purposes, and then be golden. Of course, grabbing all the keys we can snag on the way always helps. A little risky, but I think I can do it. Just barely. The question becomes, how do we get to the water? This is the wrong side. I don't want to have to go up there because there's already two guys watching each other's backs. Although, that's just the lift. So I suppose you could get up there without even needing to grab the button. Or come through here and grab the shortcut. Both of those are... I think I'll probably just have the sh I'll grab the shortcut just to have it. Wait for that other guy to leave because I think I heard him breathing. Yep, there he is. And I know from experience you can't just walk up and stab him because his friend will hear. There's a uh, one in about that direction if you can see the crosshair in the darkness. Gonna stay there? He shouldn't. He's on a patrol pattern. I've seen him before. There we are. Oh, his patrol doesn't trigger till you come through. That is interesting, actually. If I end up dying and losing my progress because Blood Moon, I can't save, that is something I'll have to keep in mind. Puts us outside. So we don't even have to open the door or use that upway. Is it just the one guy that's patrolling? There's the one down there. I guess I could check to see exactly how many wax cylinders are at the next two save points. Could also grab an early gun. But if I remember correctly, that one in the house there doesn't have any bullets, reducing the uh, effectiveness, as, as you might have guessed. We've got this little area. Get this opened up for posterity's sake. And maybe we will have to go up the lift after all, because that may be our only way to get to the other side of the fishery. It's not necessarily a problem. I was just hoping to buck the trend a little more. Oh, and the document that tells you where you can find the button.
course, having a couple of bottles is always nice as well. <laughs> we we can we can gloss over how I almost messed that up. We can write right surely surely. I jumped over. I need to vault. other reason I don't want to come this way is because there's two guys around this corner which will start their patrols after I've triggered them. But if I don't trigger them, they won't be on patrol and the outer areas will be a lot easier to deal with with two fewer guys waltzing about. But they may be my only way over there. Unless... Unless... <laughs> unless... I knew there was a way out. <laughs> Got one... Looks like huntsman, yeah, rifleman over there. I know there's some slugs and bullets on him, I think. Ooh. That is a fucking screenshot. Damn. I think I might... Yeah, one last audio... One last audio change. Just crank down the ambience a little bit. I'm hoping maybe up the master, down the ambience. There we are. Snag up these Bullets, casings, what's our inventory looking like? Eh, not so bad. Actually, I need to examine the wax cylinders. I haven't read their description yet. Oh, shisa. Used to save the current progress, consume when used. Fair enough. And it looks nice, too. That's something that's just sort of in general about Gloomwood. It's low res and kind of kind of chunky, but damn, it's got art direction. And that's that's even better, in my opinion. Now, let's see if I remember... It is not 514. It is 415. The Undertaker. This little, little laser dot sight. No incendiaries yet, so it's not much use for killing anyone, but it is a light popper. There's gases and liquids. And it's suppressed. Alright. Oh, what? That'll hopefully give us an edge if I need to pop any lanterns while I'm out on the docks. Well, I say out on the docks. I'm probably going to avoid most of it. Because um, you can get into the office with the pistol without needing to go through the outside door. But then that triggers the other two to go on patrol. And I kind of want to see what's in that shack without being harangued and harassed. Oh, I thought he had stuff. Uh-oh. I think that's another entrance in. I need to check what this guy's patrol pattern is. Let's see if we can do something a little cheeky here. This could end very poorly. It could have, it could have, it could have. No sweat. A singular bullet. We we take those. We take those. <laughs> <laughs> yes, without those two on Without those two on patrol, it is a lot quieter out here. Cause I believe they come out that door. What's your patrol pattern? It's 
That's right. I should be able to snag him on his next go round. There you go. Nice. Put him there so he won't be discovered. And I know that... This is bad. That is... Hmm. That is exceptionally bad. That is... That is the first death and a lot of progress gone. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, I will have to probably put a mark there of some kind, and <laughs> this I'll just edit out any deaths bef uh, after that first one, probably. A little sneak peek from the trying to get back to where I was run. <laughs> uh, I found a telescope. I think that was another one of the recent updates. Uh, let's see what it looks Oh, you can spin it around. All right. Lens a little, a little extremely nasty, but I mean it's something. So that's the bridge that they'll, or they're supposed to blow out when you get it there. But I already see the destruction. And that's the indication we'll have to go through the caves. Okay, that should put us back to where we were originally. Of course, it's still got some... Oh, that's right, I forgot about the money lender's room. Or the office area. That explains where that previous guy came from. That stairwell leads up to the other access room with the two guys who normally patrol around. This will be our means to moving. This also means that that patrol will probably get started as we round the corner. That's him moving. Okay, so he was looking this way, and he's currently moving this way, but then he's moving away, dive behind here, hm. easy money. Speaking of money, there's loads, loads of money. Although I don't think we have any use for it yet, considering the fact that the market hasn't opened. But it is another key, more coins and an expenses chart. Nice. That um, is something we can work with. Not really. I don't. <laughs> That's not something we can use. But then the next floor above us should be the manager's office. There we are. And then a little trick. 363. I should have remembered that, but here we are. And now we are gaming. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's two bullets. Uh-oh. Perhaps we're not gaming as hard as I would hope. But we still got... Yeah. It's the outsider. They don't like his stench. Those two schmucks will head outside, and then I can loot this main room in peace.
Wait for them to go a little bit farther before I jump. Land on the dirt. Nice. They're none the wiser. And no crate here to open. Another slug and some coins, though. Oh man, the game was not uh, was not lying when they said a distinct lack of healing items and ammunition, which means dealing with the schmucks on the roof is going to be something of a difficult task. Normally, I just blow them up, but with the amount of enemies I've had to leave her lying around, that is less viable. And in my infinite wisdom, I forgot to undo the shortcut. Let's go. Let it never be said that I am good at video games, despite how much I play them. So those guys aren't on their patrol yet. We don't need them to be on their patrol, except for that one room that I'm going to have to loot. But if I remember correctly, it only has a small number of coins, but coins can be useful at some point in the future, hopefully, predictably. Which brings me to how I'm going to deal with these guys. Because there's the one there. I guess, I wonder if I could use the damn Undertaker to pop their lantern right above their heads, putting them in complete darkness. Or is it that one above? I'll have to get a better look at the place. No, I can't mantle that. That is not what I expected to happen. There we are. Yeah, the, the, now those two guys are down there. Being problems. It appears it's just the two of them, and yes, they've got a single lantern between them. But even if I pop the lantern, that only takes care of one of them. And blowing them up will definitely attract those to attention. Shit. And I can't just shoot them either because I don't have the bullets for it. That's loud. There we are. One's got a gun and one's got an axe. That is somewhat workable, but still not ideal. Hmm. Could try just jumping in there as well, but I don't think that's viable either. I think our best bet we have oh yep have a bottle ready damn that's not what I want have a bottle ready to throw in case they get spooked and just pop their light oh they literally don't care. Hmm. So I actually probably could pop both those lanterns. Hmm. 
It's going to be risky play no matter how I cut it, but I need what's in that tower. Wait for the darkness, and... This is seeming like less and less of a good idea every second. Gunner. Alright, let's hope he's not smart enough to actually find me. Sure I can. Watch me. Slipped right through my grasp. It's true, I did. Who made that noise just now? Come on out. He's right there. Oh. Hmm. He is really right there. I'll have to go around, I think. Yes, and then I can snag him. Easy gaming. Easy money. Two bullets for my troubles. Yeah. I would call that gaming. Alrighty then. With all of that taken care of, pick up that gun. It is unloaded, and thus not necessary. Each one of these is a little bit of health, but not much. That's a lot of health, however. Nothing. Pugitis. Um, so all I need to do now is grab the little money room that is right above the save spot. Then I be, should be good to climb over the top of that building and make my way to the caves. So long as nothing goes horrific between then and now, should be more than fine. Ah, there we are. It's nice they had a little catch there. Used to be a real pain to get out of that tower. Which kind of sucks because it's got, you know, stuff in it. That will also set his patrol pattern going, but I think that is a small price to pay. There he goes. Well, the tr true question is, yeah, I can just dive behind here. Turn off the light. Grab the map. Bullets. Oh, a slug, no less. And some coins. Those are the two gates. Don't actually need the gates, so I'm not going to bother with them. Because I can just go down to here, pop that open. Just have the shortcut open. One thing I forgot, getting into that boat, because it has a ammo crate. His patrol ends right about there, if I remember correctly. 
No, it goes a lot further than I expected. That might be an issue. Especially since I don't quite remember how to get into the boat. That's the part that escapes me. That leads to the office. Oh, wait, that's right. I should probably, 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 just, you know, just maybe go check the, um, the lower thing in for anyone uninitiated. Probably should have did it earlier. I forgot. <clears throat> Consider this my last will and my confession. I did everything she asked of me. When she wanted a seat on the Mercantile Council, I delivered. When she wanted some unsavory figure removed and discarded quietly, I provided. Now all hell is broken loose and I have yokel mercenaries besieging the factory floor. I only have line workers and sailors, not soldiers. I haven't even fired that damn revolver in my safe. I kept my end of the bargain. Years of empty promises. Was I really this blind all along? Curse you, Sylvia. Make this rotten town take you with it. And to my knowledge, we actually get a, a guest star appearance from Sylvia later on, if she is who I think she is. This just leads up and up and up to the store. Wow! It's nice how the little, the fishery interconnects like that. But I believe I have cleaned this place out, to my best knowledge. And now it is time to get sh moving on out. Across the top of here, and that building. Oh. Oh, this guy has a quite long patrol pattern. But our final goal is that door. That leads to the next area, and probably where I'll end this recording session on the first save we'll be doing. But there's also that house that we need to at least take a look at. Because I don't think it has medicine or bullets. And we'll have another access route into it later. But, you know, it never hurts to just take a little gander. A little peeksies. guy on his patrol circuit comes through one of these doors, so I might want to wait for him to go by before I actually drop off. Yep, here he comes, plodding along. too much waiting. This might be another part that I just sort of cop cut out. Because, yeah, believe it or not, there's... <laughs> I'm not just gonna give a... Uh, I'm just not just gonna upload a bunch of raw footage. This isn't... This isn't 2003 anymore. God, I feel old. I didn't realize there's a door around this area. Wait a second, is that bullets in that boat? Son of a bitch, I think it is. Um, and here's hoping they didn't add, add fall damage. They did. They most certainly did. I guess that will actually be the end of the recording session. Just a... Mm, friendly statement to all present. Remind your... Mm, remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. <laughs>